hey, here's your two minute introduction to rigor mortis. So rigor mortis is that hardening of the body or the firming of the body. This sets in two to three hours after death, fast forward 24 to 36 hours after death and the rigor mortis has gone away. Now, the muscles have not just relaxed. What has happened is that decomposition has begun and it's gone into the tissue and so the tissues in your body are starting to decompose at that point. What creates rigor mortis? It is a protein reaction that happens within the muscle. So it has nothing to do with your bones um, itself. So what happens is the myosin and the actin connect in your muscles to create a contraction. As you breathe and create oxygen, it creates something called ATP, which busts those apart normally. Well, when you're not breathing, you're not creating oxygen, there's no ATP, so they remain locked. So your muscles remain in a locked position. Now, if you're in a very vigorous activity and there's a lot of oxygen going on and you die quickly, your body goes into a cadaveric spasm. And so parts of your body can lock up. We see this sometimes in hands that are locked or mouths that are locked. And so the funeral director does what's called breaking of the rigor. And this happens with, with anybody that has rigor in it. Sometimes it's just bending out of an arm or bending of a shoulder or moving of the legs. The more rigor we break up or the more proteins we can break down within a muscle tissue, the more embalming fluid can go out into those tissues. So we're not actually breaking a bone, we are just moving the joints, moving the muscles to break up that protein so we can get fluids out into them. Now, rigor mortis sets in quicker when there's heat or when there's less muscle tissue like in a child or an elderly and it takes longer in somebody that is uh, has more fat or when it's colder. So post your questions below. That's two minutes on rigor. Bye guys.